we have wgm marian gomes she drew her game and qualified to the second round as uh, she had already won the first game congratulations marian thank you so much uh, can you tell us about your yesterday's game because uh, none of us could see it uh, actually yesterday's game and the opening i kind of mixed up my lines and i went into a completely minus position uh, 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 and uh, I was a pawn now. Eventually, it was a rook and knight with six pawns versus rook and knight with five pawns. I had, and uh, like uh, sh she had, a, of course, it was just it was better for her. But uh, she, after a point, uh, she was not getting much progress with the pawns. She had these pass pawns on the queen side, but she was not being able to uh, improve the position. And ultimately, she made a, a tactical error where I again recovered the pawn. and uh, after that also like uh, she could have actually repeated the moves and just taken a draw but uh, she was slightly better so she wanted to play on and uh, again she went and made a blunder a tactical error again which was uh, like uh, she just lost a uh, exchange plus a pawn after that and it was just winning and how was the game today uh today my game i felt was uh, quite comfortable because i had initiated from the beginning itself and uh, after that after a point uh, uh, she uh, sacrificed an exchange to try to at least get a maybe ending some kind of draw or something but uh, ultimately i just needed a draw so it was not really a problem <laughs> uh in the second round you are facing uh, katrina lanu so what are your thoughts on this match uh it, of course she is a very strong player and uh, i'm going to give it my best and that's the whole point of playing in the world championship you cannot expect to get uh, easy players so uh, you have to play the best and you have to give uh, play the you know you give your best and after that whatever happens you accept have you faced her before in any other tournament i uh, know i've never played her before well you just mentioned about the world championship and i am sure you have played uh, this format uh, which was previously known as women's world championship and uh, since the last edition it has been renamed to women's world cup yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you have played right. yeah so how many times have you played the women's world championship in knockout format uh, i have played the knockout format once before this in uh, 2015 that time i had played played kosenseva uh, tatiana kosenseva as my first opponent Well, Miriam, you qualified through Asian Continental uh, last month, uh, where you won silver. And uh, last few years, you have been quite consistent. You won silver in World Team Women's event, then you won bronze in Asian Continental Women Blitz event, and now you won uh, again another silver in Asian. So, like, uh, whenever a major event comes, uh, you are always ready. So, how do you stay so ready and deliver consistent performances? Uh, I think so. I I have just decided to take tournaments more like uh, just one game at a time rather than taking too much pressure that this tournament I have to perform extremely well or previous tournaments have gone so well so this one should also be a very good performance because that generally does not happen because in the middle I played one open tournament which was in Baku itself two months back which was terrible so I think so the ups and downs happen and you without uh, thinking about the past results whether good or bad just focus on what you uh, what tournaments or rounds you are playing that very moment well uh, you just mentioned that you were here in baku so how many times have you visited baku before this uh this is my second time <laughs> okay <laughs> second time in the same year right yeah same year just two months apart <laughs> thank you marian for speaking which is with india i wish you all the best for your second round match thank you so much